Hi, this is Joe from HowToChangeYourName.com, and today we're going to fill out a change of name adult petition. Now, this is the form that is used in all 50 states to change your name. Now, it can be for after marriage, after a divorce, or maybe you just want to change it just because you don't like your name. Um, and it can be for first, middle, or last, or the whole thing. So, uh, but this form is kind of like the common application is to colleges. It's used in all 50 states, but every state also has their own form. They just ask you the same questions a little differently. Kind of like how uh, if you're applying to college, every college will have their own application, but they all accept the common application as well. So, let's just delve right into it. Uh, the first question that they ask is state of... And we'll just use the state that we currently are in, which is Florida. In the county of Miami-Dade. And it's going to ask for name of petitioner, which is you. And we'll just use Johnny James Appleseed. And... The previous legal name is just, uh, it's from what it is right now, which is Johnny James Apple Seed. And the new legal name that Johnny James wants is Johnny James Orange Seed. He realizes he's in Florida and he wants to be an Orange Seed. Now, don't re for, just forget about this court and docket number. This is strictly for the courts to handle. Uh, but going down, Petitioner's birth name. Now they ask this just in case you've been uh, divorced a couple of times. Uh, hopefully not, but in this case Johnny has not. Uh, so they'll just ask you, what was your name when you were born? And I'm just going to write in Johnny James Appleseed. Pretty generic so far, nothing too crazy. And until the name of this what has Johnny been referred to as? And some people switch their middle name and their first name. You just never know. But Johnny has been a good old boy and has not played any games with the system. He's always been a Johnny James Appleseed. And they just want to know the typical questions. When were you born? We'll say Johnny was born on January 1st, 1980 in the city of in a happy childhood on Miami Beach Miami Dade County in the state of Florida and scrolling down we'll get to the petitioner's residency now this is very important because a lot of people will f actually file a name change in the state that they got married which is not the thing to do you need to file your name change in the uh, state where you have been a resident typically for at least six months. So the petitioner's official legal address is, and we'll just use our office address, which is 90 Alton Road, Miami Beach, Miami Dade, Florida. And we'll say Johnny has been there for the last five years. But even, even if you haven't been at that address, as long as you've been in that same state for at least six months, just put in whatever address that you're currently at. Uh, the new name again, what is the name that you want? And it's going to be Johnny James Orange Seed. And what is the reason why Johnny wants to do it? Now, if you're getting married, you type in here uh, because you're getting married. Getting divorced, you type in because I hate my husband. Now you don't really write that, but you type in because you're getting divorced and you want to switch back to your maiden name. But uh, for Johnny, we're going to write he just loves orange seeds, which may or may not be accepted by the court, but we're just going to use it for example right now. Uh, the next one is additional declarations. Um, this is basically just for if you're in a you're not getting married, you're not getting divorced, and you're going to be changing your name 
for something very specific or special. Uh, as it says right here, if any, most often times you're not going to put anything here. So we're just going to leave that blank. Um, and uh, at this point, we're going to just type in once again previous name and our new name. And this is just a verification as it states. It just says that you uh, declare that you actually that Johnny James wants to be named Johnny James Orange Seed and that the court is going to take you seriously and acknowledge that this is what you want to do, uh, whether it be for marriage or divorce. Now, you're just going to have to sign here. Obviously, print this form out after you filled in all the blanks. And you're going to have to go to what is called a notary. Now, a notary is someone that is licensed from the, every, the state, and they're in every state. And the easiest place to find a notary is right at your branch bank. Um, most oftentimes, they'll do for free as long as you have an account. I know Bank of America, last time I checked, charged around 6 or $7 for it. So it's not a big deal, uh, but it's something that needs to be done before you file this to the county clerk. Now, if you don't know where your county clerk is, you can go right on to our website, which is howtochangeyourname.com, and uh, we have a list under every state of where to file these, and uh, that's it. You now know how to file your name change.